can this camera take banger photos? Today we're in Quebec City with Anthony, Will, Rich, and myself, and we're gonna break up into teams to see if these cameras can actually take good photos. Both teams will get 10 minutes at two different locations, and then at the end we'll have to choose between three photos from each location, six total from each team, to have a vote on Instagram to see who actually wins this battle. So let's go. During the day, honestly, yeah, I could take a photo of all these people walking down the alleyway. It could just be pretty plain and static. I'm gonna put- well, What are you gonna do? I'm gonna take my variable ND, put it in front of this camera, make it seem like it's darker so it will do a long exposure during the day. Because these cameras, you can't adjust your shutter speed, ISO, or anything like that, so. All right, Will, you ready for this? I'm ready, are you ready? I'm pretty sure we're gonna win. Oh, we're definitely gonna win. We're gonna beat them? Yeah. Only photos of doors and windows. That's what I'm going for. Are you sure about that? Are you still feeling good about that one? Okay, so we're at our first location. I'm gonna set a timer for 10 minutes. I'm gonna click it right now. All right. All right, let's go. Go. So we're gonna put this on a tripod. What a lovely Sunday. <laughs> Do you think we should stop for a coffee? Um, does that place look good to you? Yeah, we'll hang out there for a bit. So like a shot where we just get like a straight up view of the umbrellas. Okay. You know? Set it up and then I'll put it in the middle. This is a bit of a busier street. What we think is gonna look good is all these people walking through the frame, right? So I'm gonna put this the other way. I, would like to, I think getting some cool street photography of like people walking by or something. Okay. Uh, or maybe, remember there's a musician playing over there? Do you wanna go see if he's still going? Let's go do get that. get a cool photo of him. Let's go do that. We're gonna take this V&D and we're gonna put it in front of the frame. Trick the camera into thinking that it's super dark out, so it gives us a daytime long exposure. Keep holding, keep holding, keep holding. Keep holding? Yeah. Are you getting one of me? Look up, yeah, look up. Shoot up. I don't know if it's actually gonna do. I'm just gonna get as dark as it can be. There's only six minutes left. This camera like times out or something. I can't. It probably just auto turns off. It does, but the light stays on. I think Rich, I think Rich tried to sabotage this. Maybe. With that camera he gave you. I think it's broken. I think it's broken. Yeah, bring it up and just, I think we got it. I'm gonna try just like a street photo style, like some interesting people walking around. So maybe just like snap a quick photo of them. All right. Rich, what are you thinking? I think we got it. I'm just taking a couple just in case. But I think we might have got it. I think we might just accept what we get here. Yeah. We're running out of time, right? We only have 348. Before we continue, I brought a secret weapon. You wanna see it? Yeah. What is that? Is that a Leica? Secret weapon. Where are we going? We're gonna go to this other spot. We have a couple minutes. I think we've seen this before. And we're like, this might look really nice just even using a digicam. So we gotta go down this way. We have this really cool uh, staircase that we saw earlier, like yesterday. And we think we can get a really cool portrait on that staircase looking up. We don't have a lot of time, right? So what's imposing you want to do at this spot? We're walking up to it right now. I just want to get head left, something like that. Yeah. Okay. One shot. Standing by the... Uh, where your uh, head is turned to the left. Okay. Hands in pockets, just looking up. Sounds good. And I'm going to get low, yep. shooting upwards, try to get this whole staircase. We only have 33 seconds left. Oh, do we? Okay, okay. 33 okay. seconds, so we'll get one shot and that's it. That's 10 minutes. Now 10 minutes, 10 minutes to get a coffee? <laughs>
Okay, so we're here at our second location, the famous uh, Swiss Chalet here in Quebec. Anthony and Will are already running. Oh man, do you think they saw us? I think we're good. I think we're good. I don't think they know about this spot, this no, next spot. We got the best spot to come Yeah, and they don't here. know about the Leica either. They didn't see it. No. Rich is setting the 10 minute timer Go. right there. We're on. And we're gonna book it to this location because we have a few shots in this location planned. It's a nice day. Yeah. A cloud comes like a bunny rabbit. Yeah. Does. Safely on the road. Rich, right what's here. the idea? Uh, turn your camera, look up the street, look what it looks like. Perfect. Great. Swish Alley. We need three photos at this location, right? Yeah. We're going to wait just for a nice car to come through. That or just somebody uniquely dressed. I think we can just keep walking, honestly. Well, what, they're shooting whatever they're shooting. Yeah. Well, should we take a photo of that cannon, maybe? Yeah. All right, let's try Next it. Next to a cannon camera? Hmm, maybe. Now the entire thing with this video, right? We can take as many as we want. We will be picking out the best from this. 32 gigabyte cart. I can take 10,153 photos on this 32 gigabyte cart. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, oh, you know what? Let's shoot through this cannon as my foreground. Yo, you know what? Can you do one thing for us? It's gone. He did in the middle. That's what I was hoping for. Hey Anthony. Yeah. What would you rate this photo spot? Oh man, on a scale of one to ten castles. One to ten castles. Man, there's a lot of rooms in that castle. Like I don't even know how, how many people do you think are staying there right now. Hmm. It's got to be at least ten. At least ten? Shot on the digicam. Nine out of ten. Oh yeah, look at this. I think we got at least two good photos, and we only really need three. What about this guy on his balcony? Yeah, with the flags? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> okay. I think it's a unique shot. He looks kind of interesting. Yeah? Yeah. Why is Quebec full of hills? Hills everywhere. We've been walking steep hills for three days now. Are you confident? I'm pretty we confident. got three and a half minutes. We can. There's a nice view over here. We can sit on the bench. Come and sit on the bench. This would look cool. Three minutes. We're at three minutes right now. So this is our other location here. We have these peaks of these roofs here. Want to film a podcast while we're sitting here? Yeah. Can we get a good portrait with the Digicam? Can you podcast where we discuss all things Canon cameras? Eyes open. I think that would be the most versatile. 10 to 20, like who's that for? Like architecture people, maybe, maybe real estate, but like you don't need 10 millimeters for real estate. 18 seconds left. Prop up this tripod. We're just spraying things. <laughs> and start spraying. Camera's already on. Hot water. Just deal with it. Turn on your camera. Six seconds. One, yeah. It's hot. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Anthony and Will Show. See, See you next, next time. time. Wow, we said that in sync. <laughs> Let's walk back. So dehydrated. We're gonna go to uh, meet at this water fountain. All right, well, that was a productive podcast, I would say. Yeah. Ep episode one. Episode one. Should we upload it to the, uh, the YouTubes or the Spotify? All of them. All of them? Yeah. Oh, I think I see them. They're over there. So this is our first photo. Will, Sir William shot this photo. So you, 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 you give a rundown of it. It's this nice little street performer. He's playing the guitar. It's, I mean, the autofocus is, you know, it's not tack sharp on his face, but you know, it's a Digicam photo. I think it works. I, I think it's still a good photo. This is uh, me and Rich's first photo. Rich took this one. He had the idea for this one. A lot of people walking through, I pretty much just set my camera on a tripod. I put a and d in front of the camera to pretty much confuse the camera during the day, but I just tried it. And then a wave of people came at us 
And this was just one of like three. And we wasted probably like six minutes of our time, so we had to book it. Dope photo. We took advantage of the fact that these digicams don't have a great depth of field. And instead of playing with, you know, an F 2.8 or an F whatever aperture, we're just like, you know what? Texture, pattern, color, banger. I also think this is a good way of capturing the kind of unique colors you get out of the digicam because we're using these older sensors that process colors a little differently and have that almost filmic look to them. For your umbrellas to go up against this very poor open photo, I'm happy. I'm happy you just showed this one off because as you can tell, what's very it's, special about this photo? Yeah, it's, it's not the best shot. Third shot, architecture. We honestly just wanted to shoot a bunch of windows this whole time and we debated making a gallery of just windows and doors because they look so cute in this area. And just a nice shot of a nice building with a nice guy is sometimes all you need. I really like the background of this with all these uh, like flowers and then like the staircase. I think it was like four seconds yeah. we had left. So yeah, no. I think it looks pretty mm -hmm. good. Will captured this banger. I'll let Will take it. So I tried to create some depth here. We're shooting through the stand of one of the cannons pointed at the other cannon, just kind of help do like a, a sub framing within the photo. So overall, I think it's a banger. We went to pretty much that main spot to get this typical photo of the Chateau Frontenac. And we just waited maybe for a couple minutes. One guy came by with, did, with his bike, did a pop a wheelie, not for the camera. He maybe would have been right in the middle if I just took it a second later. It's decent for what it is. The Digicam did me a little dirty on this one because I think it's because we're shooting and there's that chunk of sky in there. It was a little bit brighter. So the Digicam wanted to darken the image a little bit. I think it's kind of a cool photo. We basically ended up running all the way up this road through the courtyard. And then we Try took to uh, this photo of Rich. Okay, so I tried focusing on him first. Kind of like half pressed, focused on the building. And then I moved it over to Rich. And then we got him like out of focus and the building in focus. I'm surprised that the Digicam was able to get a little bit of little blur bit. here. This photo is a banger. It's a banger, pretty much. We were shooting it on uh, the W mode for Wicked Winners. Is that what it is? Team Win. Uh, no, we saw, uh, there's a lot, of, obviously a lot of people moving on the boardwalk here. I basically just got low to the ground. Turns out, it'll turn out pretty good. It turned out pretty good. I think you got a typical photo that any uncle, grandfather with an old camera would probably get at this spot. Listen, a typical touristy photo. Our last photo, we were running distances yeah. up mountains yeah. to get these shots. <laughs> yeah. I think another five, yeah. ten seconds Man, left. I don't Talk know about basic tourist photo I don't know, here. I don't know what I did, but I literally zoomed in from the top of the hill just to get that. But I just like the background just kind of being there. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. It is hard to say who would win these. Like, what are the people really going to think?